Friends, we can see a thick fibrinous inflammatory membrane covering the people in this case. My plan is to remove this membrane. So I have opened the wounds. The surgery has been done day before yesterday. Fecal emulsification with intraocular lens implantation has been made. So after opening the main incision and two side ports, I have injected air bubble. Now I am going to inject some triamcinolone acetate. I want to do anterior chamber lavage using triamcinolone acetate to decrease the inflammatory response. This patient has undergone several attacks of anterior uveitis in the preoperative period. The mistake that has been done is we didn't do surgery under systemic steroid cover. So in such cases we always we should always do surgery under steroid cover. Now see how thick the membrane is. It is not coming by if I pull with Simco, this is a twenty two gauge Simco cannula uh, I could not remove it by the Simcoe cannula. So I have to inject viscoelastic substance and take help of a Sinsky hook to pull this membrane. So visco has been injected and now a Sinsky hook is being introduced. And now I am pulling this membrane by this sim Sinsky hook and see that how thick and tough the membrane is and see this membrane is firmly adherent at 2 o'clock to a point at the iris and if it, if I pull the iris the iris may get torn iridodialysis can occur so I have asked for vanas caesar Visco is injected. This is a vana scissor, and I am cutting this band at its attachment to the iris. And now I inject visco again. And with the visco cannula itself, I try to pull the membrane. But I see that just in front of the main incision, the band there's a thick band attached to the iris just like it is at two o'clock so I have to cut it but I must pull it like this otherwise I'll not be able to cut it at the iris yes so it has been cut and now what I do is I try to separate this with the Sinsky hook but the portion which is attached to the pupillary margin from say 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock this portion is firmly attached to the pupillary margin. So I inject Visco again and take a Macpherson's forceps. We can see that the intraocular lens is there sitting nicely and see how as I pull it the membrane gets detached and I could remove it in total. And at 8 o'clock this is a reflex and this is not exited. Yes, this is a reflex of the plastic trap. That's it. The inflammatory membrane has been removed. Now I inject some more uh, Tramsinolone acetate and I'm going to do a thorough lavage of the anterior chamber using this steroid, long acting steroid. My plan is to subdue the inflammatory response. And the patient is diabetic we will not be able to use systemic steroid. So I have used this tamsinolone acetate in the anterior chamber. 
now I inject BSS towards the flush BSS towards the corneal endothelium and remove it. Now um, I can see the clear lens, but I have done such case some such anti chamber lavage few cases about three four cases earlier and they do well with anti chamber lavage by tramsinolone acetate. Now I want to inject this is moxifloxacin. I have injected about point three ml of moxifloxacin and we can see a lot of particles in the antechamber. These are transnolone acetate particles and I thought this is too much and this is the final lavage of the antechamber. Uh, I will keep you updated by post of pictures in my telegram group cataract surgery worldwide. Uh, follow up pictures will be posted. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.